Welcome inside the Coyote Quarter video blog. We are in Manhattan, Kansas, Bill Snyder Family Stadium at Kansas State University where the University of South Dakota Coyotes are getting set to take on the Kansas State University Wildcats here on Saturday evening in Manhattan. I am Jay Elson joined tonight by Joe Van Gore, the radio voice of the University of South Dakota Coyotes. And Joe, uh, we want to talk about three things here coming into this game that maybe are uh, of, of interest to people out there. And we're going to call it three things with JVG. JVG, J Joe Van Gore. Right, you understand right. that? Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. First things first, everybody wants to know what Ryan Sager is going to do. He's the third different guy to come into a season as the starting quarterback in as many seasons. So people obviously are going to be curious about what it is that he's going to bring to this football team. And he's had a strong camp. He had a strong offseason altogether. The coaches are, are very pleased with his progress on the football field in terms of how he's executing the different parts of the offense. Uh, but really, the leadership side of things is what you keep hearing about him and how far he's come in that regard. But overall, as you've seen it to this point, uh, what do you think Ryan's going to do? And what do you, what do you think uh, we can expect out of him in this first contest? Well, you mentioned, Jay, leadership uh, right off the bat. He's ready to lead, and he's got the experience to start, uh, you know, coming in for Kevin Earl in the Oregon game. He's played in that big, big time atmosphere, uh, led the team to a two and two record before Kevin Earl came back uh, as a quarterback. And as you mentioned, got the majority of reps in spring ball, all of them here in the fall ball. Coaches are confident, especially uh, offensive coordinator, qu uh, quarterbacks coach Wesley Bashaner. Uh, really, uh, there's a lot of confidence, uh, a lot of quiet confidence, I think, with uh, Ryan Sager, and I think that's what he brings to the table. Confidence, at least uh, in terms of Ryan and how much he puts out there, has never been a problem. He's a confident guy, and, and you need that in your quarterback, and certainly that's going to play a huge role for this team. Uh, they need to rally behind somebody, and obviously everybody's going to look to the quarterback, and so that's going to fall on Ryan Sager. Uh, our second point that we want to take a look at are the, the big guys up in front of him in the trenches the offensive line it's it's been a bit of a work in progress throughout fall camp joe they haven't had uh, a, a surefire starting five and injuries uh have been a part of that with sam mclaren and uh derek chancellor both coming off season ending ending injuries both have been a bit hobbled throughout fall camp uh niall banks has been entrenched at the left guard spot but other than that the center the right tackle spot the, the well with chancellor and then the right guard spot Kind of up in the air. Several guys have had a shot and gotten a look in that in that number one uh, offense, but uh, uh, they just really kind of settled on this group uh, either early this week or late last week. Well, uh, talk about uh, you know you talked about right tackle with Chancellor, uh, left tackle is probably the position to watch. Uh, redshirt freshman Nick Jensen from Vermilion, South Dakota, will get the start. Uh, coaches really like what he did in his redshirt year in the off season. Uh, you know, he would probably be the, the next big guy. And, you know, really, uh, you don't find very many redshirt freshmen, and especially in the offensive line, that get a start and in this kind of situation. And especially at the left tackle spot. That's such yes. a valuable. He's pr protecting the blind side of Ryan Sager, who is a right-handed quarterback. Uh, another spot that's been – really fluid throughout fall camp in, in particular has been the right guard spot and they have now settled on Sam McLaren who moves over from center where he started all the games he appeared in last year to right guard a new position for him and that's going to take some learning. There's going to be a bit of a curve there, but clearly the talent is there with number 51. Well, the the thing is, he uh, uh, Thomas McGuire, the uh, fifth-year senior from uh, Elon, is going to start uh, at center, and the coaches have been very pleased uh, with his uh, his experience and uh, the way that he's kind of uh, you know uh, mixed in with the uh, the guys that uh, that are returning. Uh, you know, uh, Sam I know is a center, loves playing center. It's to protect his shoulder. He's had, you know, uh, many problems uh, with his shoulder, and with the the fact that you, you know, you have to hike the football, you have to come back, you have to come up and yeah. uh, block. Uh, you know, the coaches felt, and especially the offensive line coach at Brett Harvey and uh, Colin Prosser said, you know, that's too much movement for that shoulder. If they can find a way to, you know, of course, they'll brace the shoulder as, as best they can. But the less movement that I think uh, Sam has to use to be effective at any position on the line other than center, they'll certainly take. Yeah, definitely uh, puts them in an awkward spot coming up out of that center spot to try and get up and get leverage to try and block. And that right. that's where the issue came uh, with that shoulder. But uh, he's a talented, talented guy. And so you look at it from the coaching perspective, it's like Sam can help us 
if we move him to right guard, if we keep him at center, maybe he can't because he might not be able to stay healthy. So uh, it's certainly a move that, that is worth watching uh, as the game unfolds and as the season unfolds here uh, over the first few weeks to, to see how he handles that transition personally. And then finally tonight, we want to look at the other side of the football. Everybody's been talking about the defense, the scheme switch to the 4-3 from the 3-4. This is going to be our first chance to see that all in motion. Uh, and Jason Petrino has said, I, I like the way things are headed. It's going in the right direction, but it's, again, a work in progress. It'll be a work in progress from the 3-4, which, uh, quite frankly, a lot of teams in the Missouri Valley Football Conference run. But when you saw the dramatic fall off of sacks, pressure on the quarterback and everything, pressure on the quarterback was important. That's why you're going to see four down linemen. Uh, of course, uh, Drew Eddings gets moved from defensive end to defensive tackle to join Nick Jacobs, who returns. Uh, Colin Mertlink will start at an end. Andrew Van Ginkle. Love this kid at the defensive end. He's kind of got the hair like Tyler Starr, but he's got also the uh, the attitude uh, of a Tyler Starr. Look for him to shine on that defensive line. And I think uh, another big part of this is is they got gashed in the running game. And so yeah. you put another body in the middle and hopefully plug up some of those gaps a little bit, help the linebackers out, and, and avoid the Tyson Graham leading you in tackles from the free mm -hmm. safety spot. That's never a good sign. No, it's not. But uh, Tyson has really made the great transition. He was recruited as a receiver moved over to the defense, had an outstanding year. But uh, with the secondary being as young as they were, uh, only one senior graduated, uh, you know, Jeff Moreland moves to a safety to join Tyson Graham. You know, Mike Lilly and uh, Chris Tyler will be the corners. But that linebacking core, they really have to help and run support. And they, we got some nasty guys in Key and Loggy, uh, John Wessel, Ryan Hillier, uh, and, you know, the others that uh, back him up uh, as well, uh, Colin Buscarini, uh, to name a few. There's experience there. Exactly. They will be counted on. They will be counted on as that, uh, you know, to protect that second level, especially in the run game. All right, Joe, good stuff. Thanks to you. And uh, we certainly look forward to the opening game of the 2015 Coyote football season. Again, 6-10 Saturday night here at Bill Snyder Family Stadium in Manhattan, Kansas. The Coyotes taking on Bill Snyder and the Kansas State Wildcats. For Joe Van Gore, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks for watching.